Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We find ourselves back at the Forsaken High Command. About to talk to Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. I have no time for games. And the orcs. Uh, yes, and the orcs. Hmm, she doesn't seem so sure. So, the orcs are in order. She continues reading the commendation letter. Cover their supplies. Killed a dozen Morgan. Toppled an Etten. Freed their soldiers and destroyed the Skitterweb Matriarch? I say this rarely, Rizotis, but I am impressed. Perhaps your ability matches your aspirations. We shall see. For now, you will be tested. Oh, so what, I didn't prove myself by doing all that? I see how it is. What are we, if not Level up 15. Sweet, sweet. Fenris Isle stands defiantly at the heart of the Lordomir Lake, a cruel memory of a time long since past. Though no longer infested by null vermin, a new threat has emerged. Human refugees, driven from their holdings in Hillsbrad, have fled to Fenris Isle in hopes of escaping our, or escaping defeat at our hands. A critical error on their part. You are to take Agatha with you to Fenris Isle and slaughter all humans. She will raise the fallen as forsaken, bolstering our forces in the process. Do not fail me, Rosotis. Yes, my queen. Alright, since we're level 15, we get access to our talent tree. Uh, and I think we're just going to take quick draw. Basically, the free, comp the free pistol shot procs we get do a little bit more damage and they grant us two combo points instead of one. And that happens pretty often, so it'll be a pretty good uh, damage increase, I feel. I guess I can go over the other ones while we're on our way. Uh, it's basically either that or Swordmaster, which basically Saber Slash ha would have a 45% chance to proc p a free pistol shot. Or Ghostly Strike, which just does some damage and causes us to do a little bit more damage to the target for a short amount of time. I don't really want to worry about this sort of micromanagement while I'm leveling up. So I'll probably just take mostly passive talents. And then once we get farther, we can sort of min-max and, you know, use more involved things. But for now, we're just going to take the easy route. All right, we can water walk. Sweet. All right, here are the first humans. Now, these guys are, they have a lot of health. But we have Agatha to help kill them, so should be pretty easy. And then she just automatically raises Forsaken when they die. Alright, that was the last one we needed to capture, or not capture, but um, convert into a Forsaken. Let's turn this in. I see everything, Rizotis. Through Agatha, all is known to me. I assume that's Sylvanas. You must strike at their leaders. You will find them holed up in the keep. Battle your way inside and find the holdouts. Turn them for your queen. None shall escape the mighty grasp of the Forsaken. And it's just right in here, it looks like. Let's just sneak on by these fools. I think we can go by without them attacking Agatha. We'll find out, though. Yep, they don't seem to mind the, uh, the Valkyr just flying through their base. Oh, can I sneak by this Morgan? Nope, not quite. Oh, interesting. She actually, that one actually did attack Agatha for some reason. I assume they'll be on the top floor, usually. Yep, oh, I'm not even touching the keyboard now. This is all automatic. 
forsaken have broken through your defenses, magistrate. You are out of time. A decision must be made. Die in battle and be raised as a servant of the forsaken. Or... Drink my blood and be reborn as Worgen, immune to the depravity of the Forsaken. Help us destroy the Forsaken and retake Lordaeron for the Alliance. We would rather die than be turned into Worgen, but seeing as how even death provides no relief from the atrocities of this war... We choose vengeance. <laughs> and then instantly worgen. Okay. Run. Run! Thank you, Agatha. You're so kind. Just flying us out of here. While getting wailed on by all these worgen. And look at them all. Just piling on top of each other trying to get a bite. That booty. <laughs> that's like, that's a hella strong spirit chick. She's just holding her arm straight out, carrying our weight. <laughs> I can't zoom out any farther than this, too. It's like forced me into this camera uh, zoom level. So I guess we just get to watch the booty while we go back. Not too much further. I assume we just have to talk to Sylvanas once we get there. And here we are. Hello, Sylvanas. We are the Forsaken. It would seem that Crowley is more formidable than I anticipated. Still, he is a man, flesh and bone, full of secrets. Secrets that I know all about. You have served me well. I could use someone of your ability at the Sepulchre. I have a plan to deal with Crowley and his insurgents once and for all. Will you help? Of course. Especially if it involves getting more swords. Hell yeah. Ride with me to the Sepulchre. There are many things I wish to discuss with you. It is imperative that you understand the history of Lordaeron and the plight of the Forsaken. More cutscenes. I have not always been the Banshee Queen, and my people have not always been the Forsaken. Long ago, this land comprised the northern kingdoms of Lordaeron, ruled by King Terranus Menethil. Terranus had a son named Arthas. Arthas. Even saying his name makes my body quiver in rage. This man-child, Arthas, took for himself a cursed blade, known as Frostmourne. Through Frostmourne, Arthas killed his own father, and raised this land along with every living creature in it. My own death came at the hands of Arthas, when he and his armies sacked my homeland, Quel'Thalas, and murdered my people. In his vast cruelty, Arthas severed my spirit from my body and raised me as a banshee to serve in his scourge army. A similar fate befell all that would die to the scourge war machine. In death, they were reborn as mindless undead. But Arthas was not invincible. With each passing day, his power waned, his grip over the will of the damned loosening. It was when Arthas was at his weakest that I struck. And though the hour of his atonement had come, the worm managed to escape his fate, returning to the frozen wastes of Northrend. With Arthas gone, so too was the control he held over the undead masses of Lordaeron. After recovering my body, I freed the remaining scourge that were left behind. From the cruelty and mercilessness of Arthas, the man who would be Lich King, the Forsaken, were born. 
Our goal, our sole purpose, was to destroy the Lich King. We threw our lot in with the Horde, and began our journey towards redemption. Now, the Lich King is dead, and we have returned. The people who called this land their home in life, do so in death as well. But the Alliance does not recognize our rights. They claim this land is their own, while attempting to invalidate the claims of the founders of this kingdom. I will never allow it. Never! Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken. Always and forever. Hope your right ears enjoyed that little speech of hers. <laughs> A little bit of a backstory on the Forsaken for you there. One second. All right. Uh, let's get this flight path real quick, and then we'll turn in the quest. I just don't want to forget about this. Karos Razok. All right, Savannah. Do you now understand the importance of our mission here? Crowley and his alliance dogs must be stopped. Uh, his alliance dogs, because they're worgen. <laughs> okay. A convoy of veteran troopers and forsaken catapults were ambushed earlier today while attempting to cross Olsen's Farthing, directly south of here. It was a total loss. All troopers were killed, and all catapults were destroyed. Bloodfang's pack was responsible for the ambush, though likely they have fled, uh, all fled to the, into the hills, preparing for their next cowardly strike. Their day will come, but for now, I want you to go to Olsen's Farthing and honor our fallen. Recover their forsaken insignias. All right, I can do that. It looks like these two have some more quests for us. They're at this sepulcher now. She's still looking, or still inhaling that telescope. Yeah, both of her eyes are closed, and she's holding it up to her nose. Is there something in that telescope you want to tell us about? Or per periscope? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called. Anyways, let's talk to her. <laughs> Those that survived your assault on Fenris managed to drink the blood of the wolf. They turned into ferocious worgen, hell-bent on vengeance. Now they paddle across Lordaeron Lake and assault my sea dogs. Many have already been killed. The worgen monsters must be stopped. Make your way to the decrepit fields east of here and kill the Hillsbrad worgen that infest the area. Once you've killed them all, make your way to the Horde communication panel located the, at the docks. I'll be in touch. Alright. What about you? Oops. Alright, now let's see. <laughs> Thank the War Chief you're here. I've made a critical error with the Sea Dogs and need your help to rectify the situation. Oh boy, what is it this time? You see, I sent them out against the Worgen coming from Fenris Isle, stone cold sober. They attacked the beasts and promptly got their butts handed to them. Many of them died, but a few still live, barely clinging on to dear life. Take this barrel of ale to the decrepit fields east of here and force it down the throats of the fallen Sea Dogs. All right. I like it. Uh, so yeah, we have two quests up there, and then honor the dead to the south. So let's let's go do the uh, the sort of two for one quest over here. Oh look up that we have a, a big old shaking tankard of alcohol on our back. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, here we are. Orc Sea Dog passed out on the ground. I'm sure he'll be fine. He just needs a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of the old, uh. What's it called? Tail of the Dog? Something like that. <laughs> My power has returned! Alright, so we just need to do that a few times and kill some Morgan. Hair of the dog. Not tail of the dog. Hair of the dog. That's what I meant. Oh, 
Okay, we're at the docks, but we've... That worgen aggroed onto us for some odd reason, and it entered us into combat. I'm not sure why, I've actually never seen that before. Alright, let's turn this in. Hatchet's communication device crackles. Hatchet here, are they all dead? Yes, they are. The communication console hums. Those worgen that you killed were the scouting party. There are hundreds more incoming. Looks like Crowley and Bloodfang made the blood offering to every human in Lordaeron. Blood for the blood gods. Get in one of those horde cannons and send them all back to their makers. Let the waters of Lordaeron Lake let run red with their blood. All right, and we got to kill 50 worgen using these bad boys. All right, where? Oh, there they are. Can we kill them over there? Do we have to wait for them to get in the water? It looks like we have to wait for them to start swimming. Here they come, boys. Let's see if we can keep any from reaching land. Well, a few are probably going to get through because there's so many, but... I'm mostly going to be aiming for the bigger packs to just get as many per shot as possible. I can't aim further up than this. So let's just get these two. Alright, wait for the next wave. I'm sure our uh, allies can deal with the, like, three that got by. Come on. And that's 50, and it automatically kicked us out. Alright, well, that seems to have cleared the waters. Although they're there's a, there's a disappointing lack of red streams running through the water, but, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, the quest is even called Hair of the Dog. Wow, I'm dumb. Alright, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, you two. I've covered for you guys once again. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be worth it. I get some boots. Though you kill a large number of newly turned worgen, many more are sure to appear. Still, their soldiers have softened. Well done. Oh, sweet. Another level up. We're getting all the level ups, man. This is nice. We get pickpocket for it. Basically, while we're stealth, we can pickpocket enemies. Uh, well, only certain enemies, mostly humanoids. Uh, and you can get copper or silver, and sometimes you can get decent items from them, too. Luktar. Aha! I knew it. Lessons learned, I suppose. We will not fail again. I will be sure to have some ale on the front lines. So we just get some ale and a belt. Dope. Straight. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and throw on our new boots and belt. Delicious. Do we have any... No, we're all in greens now. Very nice. So everything we have has stats on it. Excellent. Alright, let's uh, just go to the south down here and get these, uh, these poor souls insignias. All right, and with the liberal use of sap, we were able to pickpocket a few worgen, which, I mean, isn't really worth much, just a few copper each, uh, and able to get all the insignias without having to really do any combat. Excellent. Not that we're, you know, pacifist or anything, but time is money, friend.
or something. I don't know. Hello, Sylvanas. I have no time for games. Have you recovered the insignias? Why, yes, I have. I will see to it that these insignias are returned to the Undercity at once. The Registrar will place their names in our wreckage so that they may so that their sacrifice may never be forgotten. It looks like a group of the, uh, of the ambushers have stayed behind. Make them pay for their insolence. Kill all of the Bloodfang stalkers at Olsen's Farthing. For Sylvanas, for the Horde. She just said her own name. That'd be like me saying like for Rosotis or something. I don't know, that just seems weird. Alright, well, we gotta kill ten of those Bloodfang Stalkers that we saw down there. But that'll be next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching as always. And take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.